one we have had in years. Hey everybody, welcome back to Crapshoot Creations. Wait till you see what we got going on today. Outside is a big snowstorm, blizzard, northeastern storm of the century. What are you going to do? Everybody's always crying that in the wintertime you can't make tie-dye, you can't sell tie-dye. What are we going to do? For First of all, you need to be on eBay or online website, something to keep your revenue going through the wintertime. But obviously, when you get lemons, you make lemonade. When you get snow, you make snowballs. So here we go, snowball tie-dye t-shirts. So here we go, we got our large uh, white t-shirt for our snow tie-dye shirt. We're going to do a simple swirl in the middle, nothing big, nothing special. Here we go. Just push out on it, get all these bumps out of here. Try to keep it level down here. Just keep spinning. Nothing but spectacular. Check it out. And let's go back and fix it. See what you want to try to do is keep this level. So let's open it back up. Where you spin it? Just push it more outward. Uh oh, the hotline's going off. Put your rubber bands on. Span it up. Probably do he out there getting the snow. He's ready for us outside. So we'll go outside and we'll get the snow. Do he's texting us. Where are you? It's cold out here. Alright, so we're ready to go get the snow. Nice. So here we are outside, we got our buckets here to put our shirts in. I made some snowballs a little bit smaller than a softball. And what I did was I made four for the bottom and four for the top. We're gonna lay, lay them down on the bottom and then we're gonna lay our dye down, sprinkle our dye on there and then lay these snowballs on top. Pack it up with some plastic, let it sit for 24 hours, and see what we got. So let's head on inside and sprinkle on the dye. Hey, Crapshoot here. For today's project, we're going to do the snowball tie-dye. We're going to use primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, or bright yellow, fuchsia, turquoise. For the base, we're going to use raven black on one, and... Acapulco gold on the other. And 
we're gonna need some Dixie cups and a tablespoon. And basically what we're gonna do is measure out our dye into the Dixie cups so it ain't messy reaching in there trying to pour it on there. So we can just take the cups and sprinkle it. It's already pre-measured pretty much, give or take. So pre-measure this out and we'll get over to the dye table. So here we go, we got our dye broken down with our tablespoon, blue, yellow, red. Here's our Acapulco gold and our black. What we did with the black is we actually tripled it up because you got to make it black is black. We're going to use that and then gold is actually four tablespoons and the rest are two each. We're going to do two shirts. So we'll start with the black first. I'm just going to do just sprinkle this down in here, get it covered pretty good. Take this because it's the cut of edge side, going to get a better design. Just push it down on there. Take the Acapulco Gold, put it down in there, use it all. Extra large. Same thing, nice sharp side, we'll put that down first. The rest of it's pretty simple. We're gonna take our primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. You can break them down into quarter sections if you want, but we're just gonna sprinkle it on. Sprinkle it on however you want. And here's the blue, turquoise. Or if it clumps up, it'll make a better design. And here, fuchsia red. What it is, the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, are going to make other colors. <clears throat> You're going to put the yellow down. Put the yellow down, and then when you add the blue... Some of it's going to turn green, believe it or not, primary color. And when you add red to the blue, you get purple. Pretty much there you have it. What we're going to do is take these other snowballs, throw them on top, four per slice, bucket, like that. Cover them up with plastic. Let them sit for 24 hours. Got some plastic bags here. Put that in there. We'll let it sit for 24 hours. We'll come back and check it out. Snowball tie-dye. Ready to go outside and open them up. Check them out. So stay tuned. All right, we're gonna do the snowball tie-dye. We're gonna open them up, check them out. They look a little bit dark now, but once we rinse them out and throw them in the washer, they're gonna look awesome. Here's the second one. So let's take them inside, rinse them out, throw them in the washer, so stay tuned. Okay, back inside, here we go, we got them all washed out, dried up. Here's one right here, Snowball Tie-Dye T-Shirt. How you like it? Make a comment below, let us know. Pretty awesome, huh? Here's the other one here. Check it out, these colors. Came out beautiful. Awesome tie-dye, snowball tie-dye t-shirts. Hey, just as a bonus, we did this one. We did this one, this one just for you guys. Just to show you that primary colors, you can't go wrong. You'll be all right. So, 
Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. This is Crapshoot. We're out of here.